Hi, joining me for this edition of Eye on the Arts is Amy Davis Neverdowskis. Amy is the marketing director for the Lebesnik Center for the Arts. That's all a lot to say, isn't it? <laughs> it is. <laughs> it really is. It's a I, lot of content. How do I do it? <laughs> I wonder. <laughs> well, welcome back, Amy. Thank you. And you have you uh, have a big art fair coming up very we, soon. We do, we do, in the third weekend of August. Yes, and that's how long? How many years has uh, that? Art, that's this is the Lakefront Art Festival. Yes, Lakefront Art Festival, and, and uh, it's been going on for about thirty-four years. Oh goodness gracious! Yeah. And it's in um, what is the park called? What? Washington, Washington Park, park in Michigan City. Yeah. yeah. So, and that's always been in that park. Um, I believe it's been it's been in that park for as as long as I've I've been involved been with involved it. with yeah. it yes yeah. so that's been a long-standing location for it yeah so how many artists are uh, participating this year uh, this year we we always have close to uh, around a hundred artists mm -hmm. so around a hundred artists and then we have a few community partners that exhibit there as well mm -hmm. so does the Lebesnik Center have an exhibit at the fair itself we don't show any artwork. Um, we will. Uh, we will have an. Of course, our galleries are always open right, for anybody right. who wants to stop by the art center to see them. But we yeah. don't bring any artwork from our galleries. Yeah. We bring our gallery shop out so people can shop our oh, gallery shop nice. a little bit. Yes, that's so. sensible. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> and you probably give yourself free free space. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we have a little leeway with that. <laughs> so where are the artists from? Uh, the artists come from all over the nation. Mm -hmm. So there are, of course, re regional artists who participate mm -hmm. um, and artists that come back from uh, year to year. But they really come from all over the country, and sometimes they come down from, from Canada even. So. Oh, so how about that? That's scary <laughs> and exotic. <laughs> how, so tell me about what are, what are some of your favorite things that can be found at the, at the art fair? Well, um, we have, you know, uh, six different categories, and so we've got some uh, great wearable items this mm -hmm. year, and uh, some, some new artists in that category. And uh, we have potters and uh, people that do work uh, with with wood and glass. So, um, and we also jewel, jewelry is also a popular category. So yeah, we have a, so. a number of jewelers that that come in as well. So the jewelry ranges everything from things that are very traditional um, to all you know all kinds of um, unique assemblages. So. And what about admission and all of that jazz? How much is that? Um, admission is uh, free for children, mm -hmm. and active military can get in. Thank to our uh, because of a partnership with Blue Star Museums. Um, but uh, adults are four dollars for a one-day pass and six dollars for a uh, two-day pass. And and is there food? There at is the festival? food. <laughs> there is food. Uh, we have about nine vendors this year. Oh wow! Um, so we have a nice variety of uh, food that people can uh, partake in when they're um, at the festival. So. And you told me you wanted to credit one of your your media sponsors. I do. I do. Lakeshore Public Media is one of our uh, media sponsors this year. So I want to thank them very much for um, for for their support. That's it's really great. helps us that's, to get the word out about that's the festival. That's good. Yeah. And um, and then what? And what about music? Do you have that kind of? Uh, performance um, stuff too? Well, we're actually going to, we're trying, we normally don't um, make it, it's not a music festival, but we mm. are bringing in on Sunday music for children. So they're going to oh, nice. tell stories through through music. So That's it should be a nice great. touch. Okay. Well, thanks for being here to tell us about the festival and thank you for watching. We'll be back again next week with another edition of Eye on the Arts. Eye on the Arts is made possible in part by South Shore Arts, the Indiana Arts Commission, and the National Endowment for the Arts, a federal agency.